just one big fence that goes around. Not sure what's behind. Maybe a family? Maybe the park caretaker. <clears throat> okay, this is another entrance off of another road. So, whatever. I've entered my way. It might take longer for these redwood trees to um, decompose is my impression because it's so uh, dry that's a raven So there's a lot of valleys and hills and stuff around here. I just keep on hitting like steep. I guess this is a stairway. Just a very steep stair. So not too much of a creek to have to cross. This splintered at the center when it fell. <laughs> Maybe over 10 years ago at least. <clears throat> they built a bridge. I think I might jump on that, but there is a trail that follows down this, this tiny creek. There's a bottle. Yeah, pretty much a dead end. I'm going back. They may have had a bigger bridge here before because they got this stone thing that Looks like it would be something to support a bridge. <laughs> Yummy. Is life? Huh. So all around here you see evidence of great big trees that used to stand before the lumberjacks came in and just knocked them all down. Looks like they took out a first growth here. And then... Maybe even the, the second growth that sprouted up after it. Uh, that's probably a second growth. I think a lot of these are second growth after the first growth. Seems very unlikely it'd be a third growth. What this park seems to be about is just the evidence of lumberjack activity. So there were guys out here just chopping away at these things. <clears throat> and then they had to haul them out too. That'd be quite a job. This is what the Pomo or Pomona Indians were living in when the um, Europeans decided that they wanted that all this wood and kicked the Indians out. So it was it was probably a nice high high sun sun canopy. They protected the Indians all day at their leisure. Like step outside at the sun themselves. But the trees are probably a lot bigger. They never said in the uh, museums whether the, the, the Indians, the Pomos, tried to live in the trees, make little camps and forts in the trees it was never mentioned but a lot of the their history is mysterious there's another old one chopped down there's another old one chopped down and you can see the circle of trees around it that sprouted from its roots I'm not trying to prove anything because this one has no trees growing around it so it doesn't occur for all trees. I don't see really any evidence of anything having sprouted from this one. Here, oh, wow, this is it. They left it out here. They chopped it down 
and then just left it out here to rot away. Looks like they cut cut the top portion that left this lower base and then just going deeper in. You can actually hear the ocean roaring and that's that's probably a good mile away. It's very loud. But it's it's pretty pretty neat. So I'm guessing that a lot of the trees that may have been back here were cut first or earliest because there's no evidence. You know, the more recent trees would have left better evidence. And of course the lumberjacks don't quite want to cut very much, very close to the, the ground level. Cut a little high of that because they're not going to use the whole tree. This is, looks like it just simply died. And there's another one that fell down over here. It's either a tree or it's a block or it's stone. <clears throat> looks like it's a tree. What's the deal with this? This is such a waste. They cut it down and then leave it they got it's like that's their bottleneck their bottleneck was actually hauling the tree out you can see there's a lot of evidence of people walking on it and it wearing away much thicker on the bottom so this is a central core they took the, the top portion maybe the last 50 feet of the very top they cut the whole thing down just to get the top 50 feet of a maybe 200 foot tree that would have really towered whoa, above everything else. Lots of evidence of lumberjack activity. And the trees are pretty spread out too. We're not talking about trees very close together. There's not like, well, there were a couple, but not too many. just looks like a bowl in there this thing is huge just incredible and it's got uh, maybe a second growth next to it of like ha less than half its size getting oop, lots of ferns out here to push through it looks like I'm approaching a fence so this park this lumberjack Tree Memorial Park has its limits. There's another one they left out here. Such a waste. They were more motivated to cut down the trees than they were to drag them out. And I can kind of, kind of under, look at that, they just left it out here. Or, maybe, no, no, that's, that's chopping right here. This is at an angle. Okay. And then here's where it fell. Hmm, not sure. Still got the sap running down it. Pioneers were just so wasteful to, to cut the trees down. It's like it's like those guys that were shooting shooting the buffalo. They just shoot and then that's it. Leave the buffalo out to, to waste. But I mean the Indians are kind of like that too, running them running the buffalo over cliffs. And just having such a huge surplus, you know, of meat that they that, and resources they couldn't do anything with, let it let it rot as well. <laughs> so there's no circle of rings around this one. It just depends on the situation, I guess. Just simply a growth straight out of the the stump there. Massive stumps. That's like the theme of this park, Stump Park. Dead stump park. This thing is massive. It looks like it broke off, just not even by lumberjack work. Just this massive hole of a tree. It looks like it's burnt. Incredible. Blackened by fire. Look at this. This one, that one over here, and then this one I just was looking at. All three were ravaged by fire. And how is it if it's if this fire came before these other trees were sprouted and grow 
how is it that they still remain so black like it and it may have occurred 10 years ago can something remain black for this long look at that it's just it's just like it's just the bark that's standing up it's it's ready to fall but it's so massive i can't push over yeah it's not gonna move it's so massive that People probably try to push it from time to time. Someday it'll give. Just needs more time to rot. Incredible. Maybe it was a really dry, dry time frame for them to burn up so well. I mean, I think these trees are kind of designed to last through fires, through forest fires. <clears throat> There's another burnt out one. Burnt and chopped. cut down I might have recorded this long wide one overlook 